Hey guys, Sableye here, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing something a tad bit different. We are going to be trying the tell your opponent exactly what you're going to do challenge. I guess you kind of call it a challenge, but basically we're going to be telling our opponents everything we're going to be doing before we actually go about doing it and seeing if we can take a win. So my main thing with this challenge is I wanted a team that could kind of outperform faster than anything my opponent could really go for, right? So I wanted to use something like Caloric Thunder Zacian just because all those pieces are super, super fast. And sometimes there's just no answer to Airstream plus Barrage, right? Or Airstream Behemoth Blade. So in, in scenarios like that, it was nice to have those options. So let's see, what do I want to do here? Um, The Kingler actually makes this annoying. Otherwise, I'd just go in and spam Calyrex, but I can't do that right now. Um, I still think Thundy Zashian is really solid. So that's exactly what I'm going to go. Thundy Zashian, Rillaboom, Calyrex, I think. So let me, let, let's let my opponent know. Alright, we let my opponent know. I mean, I'm not sure if they would have uh, picked that beforehand or would have expected this, but uh, they're actually going to lead the Kingler and the Ndidi. So slightly concerning for me because they do have the uh, the, the G Max foam burst or whatever it's called from the Kingler but I think here it's super it's somewhat safe to just kind of stay in and get rid of the Ndidi because realistically Kingler in the long run is not a Dynamax threat so so let's just airstream and blade the Ndidi it's also weird with the timer on because like Okay, there it is. That's fine. The foam burst is okay. They're gonna follow me. That's fine. I don't know if they're reading the chat. Behemoth Blade actually takes it out, so I could have gone for Lightning, which is something, but... And they are, like I said, going to foam burst and to drop my speed. Give me the Defiant boost as well, which I'm okay with, as long as I'm able to attack again. We'll see what they bring in here. Okay. They're going to bring in the Ogre, and now the Ogre is going to be faster than both of us, so this is going to be... Should be Guard. Guard, Thundee, and I think Sack Zashian. Blade the Kingler, because I think it'll pick up the knockout. Uh, I don't have Guard, never mind. Um... <laughs> um... Lightning Blade Kingler, that's better. I don't have a guard, I forgot I was AV. Water Spout's gonna come on out. Zashian's gonna survive. Is Zashian faster than the Kingler? I am not. Um, okay. Well, what do you expect when you're telling your opponent everything you're doing? Anyways, Calyrex is gonna make an appearance. Rillaboom's gonna make an appearance. This is a thousand percent gonna be a glide, and I think the glide goes into Kingler because I need to pick up the knockout. So, because I can't lose speed. We're going to Glide Kingler and Astral Barrage. Um, let's see. I, I feel like we're still alright though, like especially if the Glide takes the Kingler and the Barrage can do some damage. I could choose to Snarl. Yeah, no, they, they started reading the chat. <laughs> they started reading. Uh, Barrage going to do some damage though, not going to complain. Ice Beam into Rillaboom for some big, da big time damage. Uh, I'm going to take a wild guess and say Kingler is going to have Wide Guard. So I'm going to glide Ogre and Barrage anyways. Because at this point, the Kingler is not killing anything. So glide, Barrage. If you want a wide guard, I mean, the Kingler is not doing damage and Rillaboom is just gaining health back. So I think at this point, it's still okay. This is so weird because like I'm normally commentating the game, but instead I'm just kind of commentating me typing in what I'm going to do. It's really odd. This feels really odd, but they do have the wide guard, but that's why the glide goes into the Ogre right there. Which is absolutely beautiful, obviously. Wide Guard, unfortunately, is going to stop the Barrage. But it is fine, I believe. No, this is definitely not fine. This is definitely not fine. Uh, we still don't know where the Sash is. The answer right now is Glide Kingler, for sure. Glide Kingler Protect, I think. 
There's nothing stopping me from gliding to Kingler and clicking protect here. It's going to come down to two speed ties onto Calyrexes. They have to go for wide guard again. Glide's going to come down. I'm going to lose my Rillaboom and literally going to have to just win not this speed tie, but the next one. Because we're both going to be sashed. There is no... There's no uh, way around this. This is click Astro Barrage and try to win. Wait, the game's over. They weren't sashed. They weren't sashed. We did it, guys. We did it. <laughs> All right, so we're one to know like this now. We're one to know telling our opponent everything, but I don't know if they were really paying attention earlier on, but uh, we'll take the W. We shall take the W there. Um, okay, so this is actually still okay for me. In all honesty, like Thunder still kind of goes crazy here. So once again, it's going to be lead Thunderous. I think it's going to be Thundy. Thundy Cali isn't terrible here. Yeah, I like Thundy Cali. Thundy Calyrex. Um, Zashian is arguably not needed. Like Blastoise could come as a lead as well. But with the double grass type and a Thunderous, I'd rather it didn't. So I think I'm going to bring instant Zashian in the back. Give my opponent a few seconds to... Uh, to realize that that's what I'm doing, make sure make his adaptations here, and then we'll go Zashi and Insta. Ow, hit my knee on my desk. Unfortunate, but like I said, old Sunny's coming in and the whims are caught. Um, I'm gonna burn this Groudon because I think it's gonna help me a lot more in the long run. Wisp Groudon, and the question is, do I want to Airstream? And I think I do. So, my opponent now knows, and we shall whisk the Groudon and drop an airstream. This should just be Tailwind Shadow Claw. No real surprise right there. Like I said, I'm Sash Cali, so that's perfectly fine. We get the burn on Ol' Sunny and a big ol' airstream into the Whimsicott. They are actually gone. They are not Focus Sash, meaning the Focus Sash is... I don't know where the Focus Sash is. Like, generally, like, you know what I mean? Like, if you have an, a, another spot for the Focus Sash, I get not necessarily needing it on the Whimsicott. But you don't have it anywhere else. You know, it's not like they have it somewhere else. Uh, Thunders is coming in on the field. Okay, this is okay, I think. They do have Tailwind. So what they're going to do is they're going to probably protect Airstream. Do I have a play around this? And the answer is no. So we do have the burn on uh, that. So I'm going to get into the Thunders. I'm probably going to be the slower Mon for the rest of the time. So it's going to be... Uh, Lightning Thundee, and I believe just the uh, Astro Barrage. Because protecting doesn't actually win me this game ever. They're gonna Lightning, which is questionable at best because they're gonna give me a free Astro Barrage too, which I'm not gonna complain about. They will take the Calyrex down, but like, I don't know if I like that for my opponent. I do have to bring in uh, Z Z Zashian now. Obviously, I'm not gonna have. I don't have to tell them that because it's not like they can adapt to that, anyways. Now I've got to tell them what I'm doing, though. Um, in this case, I feel like I think I just a double attack the Thunderous, right? They were they were life orb. They could click guard, but even if they do, I can just stall out Tailwind on the future turn. So I think I'm all right with that. So it's gonna be. Uh, I can actually airstream here. Airstream and blade. Thundy. Airstream. Blade. They're gonna lightning. They do take out the Thunders, but like I said, with a burned Groudon on the field right now, this is a free kill for Zashin. Yes, that's over 50%, but, but Groudon is honestly dead to the next turn, and I have Fake Out Intimidate Pressure in the back. Incineroar has to come in for me, and they have to bring in their last mod anyways, so I don't need to tell them anything there. Uh, they bring in Lunala. Okay. Lunala makes this interesting because this should very, very obviously be a Meteor Beam. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double Lunala because I need to get rid of the Lunala. So, Lariat, Blade, Lunala. Give them a second or two. Lariat, Blade, Lunala. Yep, there's the Meteor Beam. Now we either need Incineroar to A somehow survive this or B miss. Neither of those happen. They do miss that blade, which could actually allow me to survive and win this game. That could be the blade dodge that I needed. Uh, this is blade. 
I have to call if Lunala has protect. But I'm gonna blade Lunala. Because I think Lunala at plus one special attack can kill me. No protect from the Lunala, even though I told them I was gonna hit into it. Blade's gonna come out and not kill the Zacian. And uh, I don't know if the. Uh, do the opponents read the chat, guys? <laughs> like. Blade done. Like, do opponents not read the chat? Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. Why not protect the Lunala? They had the win. <laughs> they even said GG. <laughs> they must not have had protect. They must not have had protect. There, there's no way. If they had protect, there's no way they didn't. They don't go for it there. It's just not going to happen. I don't understand. Okay, this is going to be really, really tough. Because I don't have Tailwind myself to match this. Um, I can't really lead Calyrex, but I think I have to. Like, I think I have to go Cali Thundee, Boomer. And then bring Zacian. I could arguably bring Blastoise, because I am Wakanberry. In fact, I'm going to. I'm going to go Blastoise instead of Thundee. I'm going to go Blastoise, Cali. Zacian, Rilla. Alright, this is one of those opponents that didn't put timer on. I feel like they can read the chat right here. I feel like this one could get a little bit rough. This one might get a tad bit rough, but let's see. Red Delecky Calyrex. I'm still okay with this for the most part. They do shut off the Wakanberry, which is a little unfortunate. So I have a few things I can go for here. I can actually go Helping Hand and Barrage and try... Actually, I like that a lot. I don't know if it kills Aleki. But I don't really see. Oh, they they could elect. Mm. Actually, I already said it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with the guts now. I'm gonna stick with my gut now. They'll just electro up and Astro Barrage back, right? If I'm gonna do that. Yeah. The thing is I've gotta pick plays that they can't counter. Right? Like in a play like that, they can easily counter with exactly what they just did, right? Maxing Blastoise. Is, is the better play there, right? Because they can't counter that. I mean, yeah, they can max and try to kill me. But, uh, yeah, this is GG. My opponent is dead on correct when they say GG there. Um, Uh, uh, yeah, that's fine. It's, it's over anyways. It's over anyways. I was gonna say I could click max strike, but they're gonna they're gonna probably airstream here anyways. Oh, they darkness. So, uh, Rillaboom dies, right? Rill is just dead. Yeah, GG. <laughs> yeah, GG. All right, we'll move. We'll move on. So, as you see right there, going up against hyper offense with this kind of stuff isn't as good. Because they can easily just take you out as easily as you can take them out. And it's not as great, right? Like, you can tell a position-based team what you're going to do. And it won't be as bad. I find, or at least that's what I'm noticing now, right? That I can take that position-based team. And, like, because I'm faster than them, they can't really do much about it. I'm still going to get some damage and still be in a spot in the end game. Whereas here, it's one of those ones where it's like, not here, but the last game. It was, they were so fast. No matter what I told them, they were going to be able to counter it right here so i gotta keep that in mind right maybe that's why bringing blasters is a bad idea like maybe just sunday zashi and cali boomer is always the play because there's only so much they can do versus it um this should be instant cali zashi and thunderous i don't really want to lead cali into eveltal so sunday cali then yeah let's go sunday Uh, do I want instant or Rillaboom? I think I want instant. Thundee, Calyrex, Zacian, instant. Alright, we'll go a few more games, guys. Nothing too crazy. I don't want this game, uh, video to be too long, but I did want to try it. I thought it was a pretty cool concept to see how many games we could win. So, we are 2-1 and one on the night. That's not terrible, considering we're telling our opponents everything. Um, yeah, this is really, really rough for me. Because what they're going to go for is they're going to go Electro Web Foul Play, but it doesn't really matter. Um, actually, unless they're like crazy invested, Thunder should actually survive that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to max Lightning. Sorry, max Airstream.
Max airstream protect. And I will airstream into the Veltal and just protect. We know it's going to be Electro of foul play, but unless they're like Life Orb of Veltal on this team, we should survive this. And the Life Orb was on the Aleki, so I do survive it with the Thunders, which is absolutely phenomenal. Airstream goes into that of Veltal, not enough for the KO, but at this point, that's all we needed. Now it's Astro Barrage and Airstream again. And I airstream the Aleki slot because there's no reason not to. Astro Barrage comes out, takes out both knockouts. Oh, I never sent the message. No. It's fine. I sent it now. I sent the I sent the message. They couldn't have defended it anyways. They had nothing to defend there anyways. So, hey, we'll take this as a half a win. We'll take this as a half a win. We'll just blame it on the internet not working. We shall blame it on the internet not working. I don't think fake out kills my thunder is here. Um, this is simply Astro Barrage Airstream Groudon. Actually. Yeah, Airstream Groudon. Astro Barrage. I think they're more likely to max the Ensign, personally. So. But they're going to max the Groudon. This is still okay. And they're actually going to max Guard. Good play. The thing with this play is that they're not... To stopping the Calyrex from doing anything next turn, right? Like, okay, cool, they guarded. You know what I mean? Okay, cool, they guarded, but I still have Calyrex in here. They can't make a choice right now. So Zashian comes on the, uh... Yeah, I go Zashian. I will... I think I want to kill the... I want to kill the Groudon, and I think I will take the Groudon, especially since they had Max Guard, so... Blade, Groudon, Barrage, All right, there's a Blade into the Groudon, we do get the high roll on the Incineroar, so that actually I believe seals the GG here. Alright, so telling your opponents what you want to do isn't isn't working too bad, we are 3-1 and one on the night, just that one opponent with the Hyper Offense team that I couldn't do anything about. Uh, okay, so they got Tangrowth, once again, Aleki Calyrex really shreds me here. Because there's not a lot I can do versus it. Like, at all, right? Like, there's nothing. <laughs> like, absolutely nothing. If I had Fake Out on Blastoise, it would cover for that a little bit better. So maybe on something like this, that's something I should have. But I'm not too concerned about the uh, the actual team right now. This is just a team I literally grabbed so that I could so that I could use Calyrex. <laughs> like, maybe a Lecky plus a Tailwind option on this team would make a lot more sense to get through the... Uh, to get through the challenge, but we're 3-1 right now. I can't complain. Uh, Tangrowth is interesting. I still want to lead Calyrex, but the problem is... I guess I go Calyrex Ensign. I go Calyrex Ensign. Zacian, And do I bring the Stoice anyways as like a late game max? And I think the answer is yes. I think I bring late game Stoice. Okay. I am going to Astro Barrage and I'll take, I'll accept the sleep, honestly. Astro Barrage, Darkest Lariat, Calyrex. I, I don't really have much of a, ba I mean, I could snarl, but it doesn't matter. They're going to hard switch out into the P2. That is fine. And they're going to protect the Tangrowth. More than enough, I'm fine with that. I really, really don't overly care. Darkest Lair for some damage. Now they're going to Rage Powder and get their Trick Room up. So how do I want to defend the fact that they're getting... I mean, if they get Trick Room up, do I care? The answer is no. So I'm just going to Barrage and Flare Blitz. Astro Barrage, Flare Blitz, Growth. I arguably like could have clicked Snarl right there, but I wanted to get the time. It's actually faster than the Incineroar, which is okay. Uh, protect Cali. Protect uh, Cali. Blitz the Tangrowth. Still want this Tangrowth off the field. They can hard switch and grow. And if Incineroar decides to wake up, this is perfect for me. 
They are going to foul play. That's fine. Calyrex takes it. Instant does actually decide to wake up. Gets the critical hit onto the ground on switching. And I don't think you could have asked for a better turn. Because now we're in a spot where another Flare Blitz may just take the ground on. I don't want to lose the Calyrex, right? So what I want to do here is probably hard switch in Blastoise. Blastoise swap for Cali and... Last I swap for Cali and Flare Blitz the Dawn. Yeah, they were going to max it every time right there. But I don't think they actually take me out. I think they go after the Quake and the Incineroar. And I get the burn with the Incineroar. They do Quake the Blastoise, so surviving that was actually super important. We would have been in a lot of trouble had we not. But, uh, okay. So now we've got Flare Blitz in the Groudon for a free kill. And I'm just going to yawn to P2. Like, I don't see a reason not to. They'll recover. That's more than okay. Flare Blitz is going to go into ground. I'm going to get the kill. So we did get super lucky in this game. But uh, we're going to get on the P2. So now the P2 does not want to be on the field. They're going to bring in the Tangrowth. So that's a free Flare Blitz for me. And I almost want to cannonade right now, but I don't think so. It's Cali in the back. I'm just going to Ice Beam. Actually, I'm going to double the P2, I think. Yeah. Ice Beam and... Ice Beam and double Darkest Larry at the P2. If they hard switch the P2 and protect the Tangrowth, then we get the KO. I mean, I told them what I'm doing and they're still playing right into it. Like, this just goes to show you guys how little people actually read the chat. This guy's go this goes to show you how little people actually read the showdown chat. Like, we should not be 4-1 like this right now. Like, I'm not making uncounterable plays. Like, I think the only guy that read the chat actually beat us so like i don't know it's one of those things that like we shouldn't be winning this game ever but we will wrap it up here we will finish up with this uh with this battle right now we are currently four and one so if we can snag a five and one uh record doing this i think one it's ridiculous two i don't know why people don't read showdown chat but uh especially after like team preview you know like if you see it once you know that's what they're gonna be doing uh okay so calyrex probably doesn't want to make an appearance here I think I'm going to go Zashi and Blastoise into this. Zashi and Blastoise. Uh, Insin Boomer? It's either Insin Boomer or Insin Cali. Because I could still bring Cali. But I, th I really think Insin Boomer is just better in the long run. Zashi and Blastoise. Insin Boomer. I mean, I just don't think Calyrex actually does anything for us here. Gmax Cannonade and I think Blade. Both going into the Aleki. This will break the Sash on the Calyrex if it goes up. They're going to Electro up. That is more than okay. Barrage isn't going to kill either. They're going to sub with Calyrex. Alright, Calyrex click Substitute. You don't see that every day, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Evelpel is on the field right now. Um, swap to Insin. Swap Zash to Insin and just cannonade into... Actually, Hailstorm Evelpel. This will help kip down the Calyrex as well. Obviously, you know they're going to click uh, Astro Barrage at some point as well. But with the cannonade chip plus... Yeah, they're going to Darkness. Blastoise should tank. Okay, Blastoise does tank because Blastoise is actually kind of good. There's the Life Orb. So, between Hailstorm Chip, Life Orb Chip, and Cannonade Chip, I mean, they're eventually going to go too far down to actually recover from this, I would assume. Um, but how do I want to pivot this? Because I still have to be careful in the end game right now, where I think right now I want to max guard, and I want to sack something, right? And I think Instant is more important than Rillaboom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sack, mm, do I? It's max guard, my stoice, and 
I, I think it's almost Sack Zashiak. Yeah, I think it's almost Sack Zashian here is the right play. As dumb as that sounds, I do believe this becomes the accurate play. Because they'll barrage, and they should airstream. I mean, Zashian doesn't appreciate this, but I should be able to survive it at the very least, which is nice. And now between Hail and Cannonade Chip, I believe Calyrex dies next turn. So Calyrex either has to A, switch off the field right now, or do something, you know what I mean? Or just accept its death this turn. Which, despite being behind a sub, I'm okay with. If it switches off, I have Grassy Glide to finish it off in the endgame. Which is exactly what I wanted. This is now Protect Zashia. And try to uh, Hydro Cannon. And try to Hydro Cannon the Aveltal. But guys, seriously, people do not read the chat. There's the Barrage, I lose the Blastoise, so they're also gonna lose Calyrex. And I take that trade off every day. Probably just another Airstream. Darkness is fine, I should die. If I don't die, I die to Hail. So I mean, the losing, I'm sacking both there anyways at that point. Calyrex is now dead. A Veltal doesn't appreciate that chip either, which is super, super nice. And now I have Instant Boomer. No real reason to tell them what I'm switching in because they already lost both the other two Pokemon, so. This is Fake Out Cinderace Glide of Elta. Yep, they, they, they did read the chat and they finally did have Protect on the Cinderace. But we do get a nice little bit of Hail Chip on the Avelta. Astro Barrage will take that down. And now what it is, it is Lariat Cinderace and Glide of Elta. No reason for me not to do this. I might, I might as well take the damage. But the the fact that the fact that I'm still winning games, and I don't know if my opponent's reading chat or not. They do get the double protect. So if there was ever a chance for them, this is it. Uh, high jump kick is going to miss the Incineroar. <laughs> Darkest Larian, of course, not going to pick up that KO. But at this point, at this point, I think it's just GG. This is now the same play. Glide of Veltal and Lariat Cinder. Hey, it, there's no... There's no uh, mismatch here. There's nothing different to do. I mean, I could try to Glide Cinder, but with the Veltal having clicked Double Protect, the chances of it getting a third one are slim to none, and there you go. So the Glide does take down the Aveltal. Cinder Ace has to try and kill off the Instant now. It can't do that because they're at minus one. Darkest Lariat just shy of the KO, but it's fine. This is uh, Flare Blitz. Actually, I can just Lariat. Lariat, Glide, Cinder. Their best play is Double Protect, but they still lose this game because they have no spread move. So, once again, Lariat, Glide, Cinder. They go for the double, they are not gonna get it. And, guys, I don't know. Summary of today's video. The summary of today's video is people do not read the showdown chat. People do not read the showdown chat, guys. Like, there's no reason we should go 5-1 literally telling our opponents what to do. Like, I, you can clearly see, like, that people have locked in sometimes before I mention it. But, like, at the same time, when they put the timer on, they, they still can cancel and go back and change it. Because, like, I'm giving them enough time after I say it, you know? Like, I was still giving them enough time to have clicked the cancel button after I had said it. So, like, today's summary of today's video is people do not read the showdown chat. But, uh, guys, this was, a, this was fun. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one, and I will catch you guys in a future video. Thank you for watching.